Hey Superior Shea fans and other humans, how are you doing today? Uh, December 18th, 2020. Here we have, this is the first um, manufactured part that came out correct to the specifications. And this is the beginner uh, honing solution. So this is a sheet of HP nylon that's 9 by 11 inches by about a half an inch. And um, when you measure it from the edges in the corners, 11, 8 up here, 11, 8 up there, and then what am I going to get in the middle? 9, 5, 9, 4, okay, 9, 4, somewhere around there. All right, so it's correctly specced. Um, this would be a basic broad cylinder shape. And the idea is to impart the mechanical advantage upon your razor so that um, you get to get a keenness advantage without getting into any trouble. So this is more or less designed to be flat across. Um, my personal preference, if it had to vary in the nominal uh, alignment this way, is for it to be slightly convex. Um, which would be concave on this and making of a stone like that. However, for beginners, that really isn't better. It's actually better if this thing were to make something where it's a little higher and then a little bit lower across the middle and then a little bit higher on the ends. And so that sort of emulates um, when they're using those wheels. Uh, as you go down your finished stone this way, you bring ever so slightly, just a millimeter or two, toward your hand and you'll feel yourself coming up on that thing. You're, you're always going up on that ridge. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm going to try uh, producing a surface on a couple of uh, one and a half by seven inch cuticles, uh and they should be all right with uh, having enough stone depth on the corners based on the diameter that will be imparted from this and As you may know, I have purchased this expensive uh, aluminum, uh, no, sorry, silicone carbide uh, sandpaper, uh, Fandeli. Anyway, the 60 grit is fantastic. The one that's fine, this stuff isn't flat for like five seconds. This, one's, this one stays nice and flat and it's not too stiff. This is terrible sandpaper and I'd never buy it again. Um, so personally, I think you go for the really rough grit just on step one and then switch to the alumoxide sandpaper because it's physically better sandpaper most of the time. Uh, but may as well use this thing for its intended purpose and make two nice, beautiful, basic uh, cylinders like that. So here we go. Ah. So of course, when you start lapping a cylinder into these incumbent rectangles, you're gonna wear away only at the edges, like over here and over here, until they're gone enough such that the, the curve can be carved into closer to the center territory. It's quite the mess the one time you do it, but then topping it off is no different than any other stone. Look how much already came off, all the way from here to here. Okay, doing quite well. Easy money. I'm almost done and I've only been doing it for like three minutes. So that's surely a cylinder. That only took four or five minutes total. Plate number two, okay, I've got uh, 12 till the top of the hour now. Okay, that one's done also, but I might as well touch them both up. So I will consider that paper spent. Well done, paper. 
you're waterlogged, but you did a great job. I'm sure you still got plenty of cutting miles off ahead of you, but not that many flatness miles ahead of you. And we need both. And we're going to wind sprints off our little lapping fight here. It didn't take much damage. Beautiful. Sure hope I used the right size. Yeah, I used, I used the right side. <laughs> okay. Uh, now I will put some fine paper on there. Because why not? And the abrasive is the same. Ooh. Feels a delight. Feels a delight. Okay, see you in a bit. So they're all done, Superior Shave fans. I will um, put these tap plastics bases on them eventually. But um, here we have two beautifully cylindrical, nice and even uh, 40 by 175s. And I can't wait to hone on them tomorrow and see what that's like. It's been so long honing on the ellipse. I wonder, can you tell the difference? Let's see here. Can you see that the one over here has a curve going like this, and the one this way doesn't? Oh, sure. Yeah. Let me see here. Yeah, you can see it. I, I can see it right there in the middle. It looks like it's about a almost a half a millimeter thicker in the middle, especially on this side, where it shows up more because of the lack of parallelism. Uh, and then on the long axis. They're pretty close. This one's a little shorter, but I've been lapping the crap out of this one many, many, many times. So I may have been a little bit aggressive having my phone on my stone. Anyway, yes, very exciting news to have this uh, mechanical advantage. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go have some fun off camera with this one and lap this down with that cylinder because with a full 9x11 sheet of paper, I ain't scared. Okay, see you guys later. Bye-bye.